Today I want to speak with you about sleep habits and ways to help you get a better night's sleep as a busy mom. So if you have been listening to my podcast, Raising Healthy Humans, you will know that I provided you this week in episode 25, five tips to help you get a better night's sleep as a busy mom. Now today, what I want to do is share with you some sleeping positions that will help ease some of the aches and pains you may be dealing with after a night's sleep. So here is um, some things that you may need. If you are a belly sleeper, you're going to need a pillow, uh, like a small pillow or a towel. Because what happens is when you lay on your belly, your back goes into this extensive arch and you usually will probably wake up with some low back pain. So we're going to take our um, towel or blanket and you're going to place it under your hip bones, your ASIS, and this will help take some of that extensive arch out. And you can then move a leg out or whatever you need to do to feel comfortable. But that is the first thing that I recommend for you belly sleepers. Um, if you're a belly sleeper, we got to work on trying to get you more to your side as well, because it just, it wreaks havoc on that low back. So um, this will help though. And the thicker it is, the better. Like your goal is to try to bring your pelvis back into neutral so you're not feeling any tension in that low back. The next one is side sleepers. So for you side sleepers, if you have one of those body pillows that most of us get when we're pregnant because it helps ease a lot of the tension we have, don't throw it away or don't get rid of it. Hold on to it because it is really great when you start to deal with hips, hip issues. I start seeing so many moms who have tension in their hips and then shoulders. And this is for most of my side sleepers. If you start complaining about hips and shoulders, I usually am like, do you sleep on your side? Because this is what I deal with as well. So I'm going to show you with two pillows instead but if you have a body pillow, that would be preferable. So what we're going to do is we're first going to place a pillow in between our knees because when you have your knee on top of the other knee, you're going to see that your pelvis starts to do this internal rotation. This hip goes into more of an internal rotation. So the more we can stack them so they're kind of parallel, the better. Then the next thing that I'm going to do for my shoulder is I need a thicker pillow to kind of keep me from this rounding down position. So if you have a thicker pillow, this is not the best pillow to show with, but we're trying to get our shoulder back into this, you know, normal space rather than dropping down, keeping it up here. So if you have a thicker pillow where you can kind of have your arm in this circle rounded like you're holding a ball, that's going to keep a more natural pattern for your shoulder to where it's not this internal rounded shoulder. The other thing that you can do as a side sleeper, one of the best things you can do is make sure that if you are a side sleeper, rotate from side to side. Um, try not to get stuck on either side. But for some of you, you may be stuck on one side. For myself, I'm always stuck on this side. I always face away. So if that's the case, you're going to also need a towel or a pillow. And we're going to work on our ribs because our ribs tend to slide when we lay down. If you lay down in your bed, you will feel how your rib kind of slides down. And this will affect so much core, shoulders, hips, um, everything. <laughs> Breathing pattern, everything. So we are going to place a towel underneath our ribs. And it doesn't need to be a big towel. It's just a little one because just that inch 
will help your hip, your ribs from sliding down so much. They may slide a little bit, but the more you can keep them into a neutral position, the better. So just placing that directly underneath your torso so that your ribs don't slide so much down. And then the last one that I usually like to recommend, this is one I like to practice. Um, we are rounded all the time, and for us side sleepers, we tend to go into that rounded position. You kind of curl up your legs, you curl in, and this can make breathing harder because your, your diaphragm's not able to move quite like it should. So I like to then place my pillow back behind me, and I want to work on kind of creating a little extension. So I sleep like this. So my body is kind of leaning open. I'm extending through this area. My shoulder is protected, and that will help me um, here. Again, this is a position where if you do this, you do need to try to rotate to the other side to make sure you're opening the other side. But that is one that I have noticed over time. It's really starting to help my shoulders feel better because I'm not in this rounded position when I'm sleeping. So those are a few of my tips for helping you get a better night's sleep with your position. And I know it's very difficult to change the way you sleep. So if you just cognitively go to sleep trying one of these positions, and then each time you wake up throughout the night, reposition yourself, that's the best thing that you can do. Start practicing that to where maybe it will become a habit over time. If you have questions for me, please make sure to let me know. You can leave them in the comments or reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.